guy? And find something you're passionate about besides Ziggy. Hey guys, gather around. I might have something interesting for you guys today. Maybe. Some of it's like boring stuff, you know, just talking, but he does mention some interesting things. Hey, K Love, Sweet D. It is what it is. Sandy, Heather Mack, Justin, Michelle. So, hey, Rhiannon, Martha. He's doing, he's doing good. I've got some of it to show you guys. Jeez. Oh, he's doing good. Um, but we're, ah, oh, dang, those dogs. Hold on, let me check the camera. I'm pretty sure it's nothing. They bark at everything. Yep, exactly. Like I thought, nothing. Um, here, let me share the screen here. So, how is this woman? Is she safe? I haven't talked to her for like a couple. I haven't talked to her for um, a couple days. I don't think I talked to her yesterday. I mean, I was trying to get a hold of her to let her know that I was going to be talking to him. Um, Fred has something to say about it. You'll hear his reaction. Cold, dreary, and raining here last two days. I'm trying to remember where. Oh, yeah, I know what state you're in, I think. Oh, yeah, I know. The state I used to live in. Cold, like, like how cold? Well, Fred doesn't seem to be really worried about her. Um too bad so i don't know i think michelle um wouldn't they have to have a uh michelle bean i'm asking wouldn't they have to have a active or a valid um id to visit in person what would happen if their ID was expired? Would they ex let the person um, video visit? And per like if they went down to the jail, if their ID was expired, because Laura's is expired. And I didn't think they would, but. I was trying to ask Michelle because she used to work there but a long time ago, so I don't know. It has to be a valid license. Yeah, I did, Chastity. I mean, I did. I have it saved in my on my account on this uh, inmate sales website thing. 
Yeah, they take your ID. Hey, Luminous. Okay, let's see here. I guess I could just start uh, showing part of it. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, mute and see if you guys can still hear it. Hold on. Okay, I guess I'm going to stay unmuted. <clears throat> so I was wrong about what happened to Fred. I thought he explains his situation. Um, I guess he basically died um, Well, he was in there and they had to bring him back. Oh, yeah, he does look a lot better. Okay, here we go. I guess I'm just going to keep it unmuted. Hey. Hey. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, I, I hopefully I can hear you better than... Can you hear me okay? Hey, can you hear me okay? Uh, okay. You can't hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. All right. Barely, barely. Oh, barely. man, that sucks. You guys got to you guys got to remember that he uh is half deaf. He is half deaf. Yeah, he was choked out by an inmate. Um his arm yeah, he explains it. He's hard to understand cuz he has a thick accent. Um Days of a detox and shower can do, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I'll try to talk loud. Um, so I'm trying to get a hold of uh, Laura. I haven't talked. To, I haven't talked to her for a couple days. Um, but I know she's having some type of issues with your sister, sisters. Well, she's, she shouldn't be, I mean, uh, and she should have money and stuff to do what she needs to do right now, too. So. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Um, well, the sister supposedly uh, kicked her out of your mom's? Well, she can go to the camper. Right, okay. At first, she was acting like she had, was going to have to leave the hauler completely, and I was... And she was telling that me. That sounds like an excuse just to leave. Oh, uh, is she trying to leave? I would say probably. Why? You think she. She done this last time. What'd she do last time? Did, did you, is it true that her mom, your mom gave her money to bail you out last time and she didn't use it? No, I never had a bail last time. I mean, with the, when you got in trouble for the. The, Virginia. the boots thing. No, no, mom never gave it No, oh, okay. I thought she, it was like seventy-five dollars or something. Oh, uh, yeah, it was paid back. But did did she use it to yeah, bail you out? Yeah, I paid that back. Oh, okay. So somebody see, when I got in Virginia and the boy in Virginia was spent three and a half in there, she never even come visit me the first time. Yeah, she's, um, I, she wanted, she called me crying and asked me to contact you, um, yeah. and said, cause she's like, I haven't even talked to him one time. So Fred is 46 years old. Um, 
He just turned 46, right? I don't know why I'm asking that as a question. But yeah, he just turned 46. I think. Um, so it sounds like to me that he's under the impression that Laura has money out there and stuff and it's fine and she has a vehicle she can access and that so that we shouldn't be worrying so much about Laura. Um, someone put on Facebook that he had the hell be out of him by inmates, but how are, or Hawkins County officers to shut him up? Well, he seems to think some, well, he explains what he, his version of the story. He, yeah, he did have the hell be out of him. He almost died. And I guess, yeah, I guess uh, he blames some stuff on the guards. I don't know exactly. I can't understand really what happened. Um, but he said it was somebody who knew who came in the jail, like, and it was while he was sleeping, the guy just uh, started strangling him with the uh, the cold rag that was around his neck. Because I guess the um, air conditioner is bro broke there and it's like super hot in there. And so they've been sleeping with a um, like a rag, wet rag or something around their neck to keep them cool. And I guess when he was sleeping, the guy like just started choking him with it. He doesn't talk about Donna Candace in this, but he does talk. We do talk about Summer Wells. Um, and he talks about, um, he also talks about if he's talked to authorities since he's been in there. So, you guys, this, there is some interesting stuff in here. He doesn't believe this, he doesn't believe his lockup has anything to do with Summer Wells. He doesn't believe it for a second. And he and you'll see how confident he is that he's not in, he's under the impression he's cleared. But um, you know, I wish they would put this stuff out there if they did feel like it did know these people are cleared because um there's people who are looking at him like like he's possibly um involved. Since he's been in jail, and um, we'll see. I think maybe on suicide watch because of what I was telling you the other night. Yeah, what happened? Did you you were sticking up for uh, a kid or a young guy or something? Well, I got they took and choked me out in a in a cell. They was trying to make some dope, get to hold on some something that moved out of the cell or something other, and about about done me in. It was over. They were trying to get what to do some dope. No, well, they were just taking and trying to move some stuff. So oh, dang! I thought you said that you were sticking up for somebody. So you. Dang! What is that? That's where they brought me back. Wow! You actually died. Yeah. You lost consciousness. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, are you separated from these people now? Yeah, you know I'm in a different pod now. Are you in a special pod, or is it just yeah. a regular jail? Yeah, I'm in a better pod now. Okay, is it like a protective custody or whatever it's called? No, it's not. It's just a regular. It's not protective custody, or not. Oh, okay. It's a regular pod. Okay. Did you, they charge, do you know, they charge so much for these video visits. It's crazy. Yeah. Are, are you able to uh, have a, a tablet, your own tablet? How do I get you a tablet? Uh, I don't know. Does any of the other? Just, so, well, yeah, I, you can put money, the least amount of like $15 on the phone thing. Yeah, there's money on your books. Uh, 
Uh, there should be money on your books. Yeah, the day is $20, yes. Oh, there should be 40 I put 20 Okay, well. Uh, it's not went on a day thing, but there's 20 that showed up from somebody else. Okay, from a Kathy? No. It wasn't a Kathy? No, it was from, it was from uh, Deanna uh, Warner. Do you know who that person is? Uh, Deanna Warner. A girl that you should date like 25 years ago. Oh, okay. Because I put twenty dollars um on your books through tbejail.com. Is that where I can do it online? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. I'm not for sure. I'm maybe a dollar. I'll call and make sure. I mean, it put it asked me. But, it pulled you up. Yeah, it just showed up where that one it put money on. Put their twenty dollars well, on is all. When did you look? When's the last time you looked? What? When is the last time you looked to see? About 30 minutes ago. Oh. Well, what about a, there was somebody told me that they went down to the jail specifically and put money on your, for a phone card for your phone so you can call people. Well, well I've been trying to call out and they won't let me call out. Huh. I try to make click calls. That's how I got hold of you last night. They make it have one free call. Yeah, for like a minute. I didn't know it was only yeah, going to let us talk a minute. Yes. I didn't know it was going to let just only let us talk one minute. Mm -hmm. um, it's been 15 minutes, but it run. Oh, really? Well, uh, maybe I can call my phone company and stuff. That's that's. I wonder my, where my money went to then. I want to. Well, see, I can. There's a phone thing that I can take in with sale and stuff with me. That. You can put like fifteen dollars on the minimum, uh -huh. and I can communicate with you like after text or whatever. Yeah, how? Or well, video either. He, how do you? Uh, how, you guys, he does say something very, very interesting about summer in this. I don't even know if I should be releasing it now that I'm thinking about it. Um, God, I don't want to do that to you guys though. Ah, fuck. Now I'm shaking. Like, I don't know what I <sighs> Okay, well, let's see. Here, here. Actually, I might skip just a little part when he talks about where they think summer is, okay? Um, just for now, since it's soon, soon after he talks about that they, um, he talked with law enforcement yesterday about uh, summer and because there's somebody he talked with that he hadn't, I'll, I'll play a little bit of it, but when it talks about exactly where they think she is, I don't want to put it out there because it's so soon. Um, yeah, that's why I'm saying... Yeah, um, where summer, I, I, um, yeah, you guys are right. I don't want to release names. Actually, I don't think he doesn't release any name. Actually, he doesn't say the name. He, he didn't want to mention it. So he acts like he didn't want to mention it and I didn't want to press him. And plus I started realizing after a little bit that we were talking about too much on this and it's a recorded line. And also I didn't want him to get in. I didn't want to uh, cause any problems for him because we start talking about his charges too. Um, but now that I'm remembering, he doesn't say exactly like the person's name, but I'll just fast forward a little bit when he gets talks about where they think uh, Summer is. Um. Oh, no, they know what he said. He's been talking in communication with law enforcement. Um, he'll, he'll explain it. You guys will hear it yourself. But I just don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, keeping stuff to myself just to be like, oh, I know something you don't know type thing. Um, it's just that it, I don't, since it's so soon, since law enforcement has been talking about this certain information, 
I just don't want anybody interfering with it and doing something stupid and going out there or something. Okay. Not that actually, actually, I don't even think that per, a regular person could access the area where they think she is. Like you would have to have special equipment. No, he does not. They don't think he's, she's alive. But see, when but the thing is, it's it's about Summer Wells, a missing child, and people don't like child killers and child people that hurt children. So Fred is safe in that area. He didn't explain. He seemed um, when he was explaining the incident that happened to him, he seemed kind of vague. I don't know if you guys got that too. I don't know exactly. I I thought yesterday when I talked to him, which I th my phone call should be recorded with him. I maybe listen back over it. I couldn't understand him, and I thought like he was saying he kept he said something like this boy. I thought he was saying he was sticking up for some boy, but I I I heard him wrong. Um, he explains it a little bit more. Uh, my email is youtubeziggyoutlook.com. It sounds like they think she was taken. No, the shallow grave was over on um, on uh, Fields Road, not off of Ben Hill Road. Yeah, we talk. He 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 knows it. He said that she. You guys, I've, I'm. He talked about that. We talked about it a few times. He he says that she can't be kicked out of the trailer, the one trailer, but that she should be fine. According to him, he said that she has everything she needs out there. A power plant. No. It has to do with that Laurel Park. Hold on. But it doesn't, the way he was talking, it doesn't sound like he didn't mention Don and Candace, like it was Don and Candace, but that doesn't mean that they, like the person who I guess they're looking into is not Don or Candace, and it's not somebody I know, he said. Oh, wait, I will tell you this. You guys want, and also, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> the person's, of course, deceased. The person that they think is responsible is, of course, deceased. According to Fred, anyways. We don't, we're not hearing this straight from law enforcement, so we can't, like, take anything to, um, for fact. You know what I mean? But according to Fred, the person's deceased. And he and he said that he didn't think that uh, he said he didn't even think of this person until uh, law enforcement had started questioning about him about him. No, not Earl Taylor. 
he said it wasn't Earl Taylor or or Marlena Crawford. We did talk about uh, Andy. We haven't even talked. This had he hasn't even. I haven't even played anything to do with Summer's case yet, guys. So to the ones coming in just to be assholes and act, and so you want me to turn it off right now? Then got right. None of you guys want to hear what Fred has to say. Is what you're saying? I should just turn it off. None of you guys want to hear it. We'll just keep it at that. So I'm not going to he sit here and um, have people, um, you know, freaking uh, reach and, at, you know, make bigger deals of things than they really are. When we haven't even, when I just said I was fast forwarding, going to fast forward through that part. Would people please freaking take the cotton out of their ears? I mean, the people acting like, oh, oh, you can get arrested. There's no names mentioned. He can't get, if if Fred wasn't supposed to say anything, he wouldn't be saying anything. Don't you think they would have told him not to say anything to anybody? He didn't tell me any name. Plus, they watch those phone calls. If you talk too much, they'll drop you. I've been dropped from one of those calls before. You guys, like, if we get, if I start to remember a part that I feel is could get me or cause any problems, I wouldn't have talked. We did talk a little bit about his charges, and then I kind of was like, we probably shouldn't because I don't want to get you. Hold on. You guys, there's no way, thinking about it anyways, there's no way none of us as, uh, as unless we, you have, where they think she is, no human, who's just out exploring or walking the area is going to be able to access that uh, access where they are looking. Basically they think she was like, it sounds like they think she like was thrown off something. According to him, it sounds like, but yeah, this is all alleged. Let me see if Why isn't it? If 
He does mention Simpson, Michelle Reed. He does mention something about a Simpson. I didn't know what he was talking about, though. He did say Simpson. <laughs> okay, let's keep playing here. So how... Shit, I hit mute. God, sorry. You didn't miss any. I'll, I'll rewind a tiny bit. It was, didn't miss anything. Just. Nowadays. They should go on automatically. Okay, well. They should on, on instantly go on. Well, that's uh, irritating because they're, if you got 20 from somebody else, you should have 60 on there. If, if, if that's. Really, um, unless they took it for medical. Oh, like how do you have a balance? I don't, uh, not, uh, not now. I don't know about it or not, but oh, you don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll, okay, we'll see. I can you mess, are you able to email me back? Like, you got my message for my phone number, right? Yeah, I've got your phone number. Okay, because you got my email I sent you? Uh, I can get it. Or how did you, how did you get my phone number? Did you? It come up on the kiosk. Oh. Where, where it shows my money and stuff. It shows me who's text and message uh, me and stuff. I can read your messages. Okay. Like that, I just sent you a message to another one. Um, okay. And... So, um, because it's two, two different machines, I gotta go to, to do it. Can you type back? Huh? Are you able to message back? Uh, yeah, I probably can. Or is it how much does it cost you per time? Right. Does it cost you? Huh? How much does it cost you? Um, no, I think I'd be sent a message or something. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll schedule another one of these two here. How, how do you know if you have a visit? Do what? How do you know if you have a visit? On the machine here, it tells me. Okay, yeah. Make sure you're checking that every just day. See, I, I just had got, got in this pod like yes, the day before yesterday and just got out to be able to see what my right. messages and stuff was last night. Okay. Um, because we're not out every day. Oh, are you on lockdown a lot? Yeah, yeah. Some days we're locked down most of the day. Um. So okay. Uh. Well, just check. You know, every once in a while, because I I purchased sixty minutes on here so that I can set up visits with you, because I'm sure you're bored in there, and I and I avoided nobody because no bored. I, I said bored. Yeah. No. Yeah. I said bored. I, I know you're not avoiding yeah. me. I, I knew you would want to talk to me be, because you hadn't talked to Laura yet. Hey. I'm trying to get a hold I of her. She's probably done way back to Virginia, but no. Mm, she, last I talked to her, no. She was at the... I hope not. I, I shipped uh, dog food out there. Well, it would be what it would be. I mean, my court date ain't till 31st of August. Correction, I didn't ship it out there. Some one of uh, the subscribers did, but I was just—I didn't think details were that important at the moment about that. He said he told me that the bondsman said he can get him out for twenty-five hundred. That he will—he will work with him. But you guys, I—I I don't want to have any part of bonding out. Just because, as much as, I just don't, that would make me really nervous, unfortunately. I hate to see a man there, but, you know, 
you do the crime, you do, you do the time. And even if it was, he was set up, which he was, then, but still, shouldn't have done it. Do I regret? No, wait till you hear the end of it, Georgia. <laughs> no, I don't have the money to bond him out. That's the first letter. He didn't tell me a name, Michelle, Michelle Reed. He didn't tell me a name of who he, he wouldn't. He didn't. And actually, I could tell that he was hesitating um, when I was trying to ask a name. Um, he didn't tell me. I just know the guy is no longer alive. And he said it's not somebody I've talked that I would know. Um, as you get there, there's still only 10 minutes have played so far. There's still 32 minutes left. Scott Kushner, hi from South Jersey. All right, yeah, let's continue here. And and that's your, and that's your first chance for a lowered bond. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you know? Twenty five hundred. I could get out. I mean, like today on a twenty five hundred dollar. Oh, isn't it? Twenty five hundred. It was fifty. Well, it was fifty thousand. Uh -huh. And then it took five thousand to get out. But a bondsman was going to work with me on twenty five hundred. Oh, okay. Wow. Um. All right. Uh, so it's not as bad. So I can get it, if, but I can't get it in here. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, did you, so? Okay. I got it. I just I can't get to it. Uh, are you just? Is it just a selling charge? Is that what it is, or is it manufacturing? Do what? Did you have a selling charge? Well, it's maintained the well with the uh, selling. I don't know if it's. 0.5 grams or 0.50 grams times two. Two different, two different, uh, two different. Um, and not show me no paperwork. Okay, I know. I got no paperwork. I know the two dates. So half a gram was sold twice. So small amount. Oh God, Georgia. I mean, if I had to be questioned, I'd have to be questioned. You know. I would do what I could. I would, it is what it is. It's, if you want to know the two dates that you supposedly sold on. What's that? Uh, what date, on it? November of 2021. November 27th, 2021. And March, uh -huh. March 3rd of 2022. Okay, I know exactly who that was. Who? I know exactly who that was. So who? Who? Just curious. They call him Big, uh, Big Mountain. Oh, man. He's actually from a cop's clinch mountain. He was introduced to me and he ain't been back. That was when that was, too. Yeah. It was November because that's the dates that's on your, um, that's the two dates that, are, um, that it shows. Which date was it again? Uh, November 27th of 2021. So, so that was like, you know, five or six months after Summer went missing. And then, yeah. and then it was a little bit before the time I first met you, the very first time yeah. I met you. Yeah. And then uh, the second time was a couple months after I first met you in March 3rd of 2022. Okay. All right. I pretty much know who they are. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's. Uh, but see, they they took it, they don't like go oh, during the while the summer west case is going on. We ain't gonna fuck with you at all, you know. Uh, yeah, they played it off like I wonder. What do you think that person was in trouble? Huh? Was that person in trouble? Is that why they did it? I'd say so. Yeah, by snitching her way out. Oh my gosh. 
Well, at first I thought you had manufacturing. So I was like, oh God, uh, you know, I was like, great. But I think now, I think with this, there's- see, I think there, there are people in here telling me where I was choked out and stuff in a cell. If I had somebody outside to push it, where they broke the pins loose in my wrist and that broke my arm and stuff for working on me. Wow. That place on my you chest. Guys, that. Get real. If he did not want that information out there, he would not have told me. He knows he's being recorded. And I'm banning anybody who says freaking something stupid because every single one of you that's saying something stupid is a hater that I've already seen talk shit 24 seven. You know, you want to fucking hear this. So stop. Uh, if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. If you don't want to be a part of the problem, leave. Leave. If you have such a problem with it. He's talking about it on a recorded line. He's not going to get in trouble for, uh, he's not the one that snitched. Why, why would anybody come in? He's, he's the one being snitched on. Get real. He's not, are you fucking serious? We know if the person already snitched, there's some weak mofo. So, okay. Fred's in danger because. He mentions Mountain Man. Who the fuck is Mountain Man? He's not, in, it, it doesn't put him in danger in any way be, at all. I don't know what you're talking about, TG. Again, um, that's what I was trying to do, Michelle. <laughs> that's true. He doesn't mention any names. I'm not sure what you mean, Tennessee Poppy. These calls are not public. Not anybody can just go get these calls. Now, law enforcement can, but they know these calls are recorded. No, he didn't sell to Dawn. I don't know what you mean, how he's getting all these calls. What's What do you mean getting all these calls? Are you serious, Tiffany? I don't watch you, and I did not see that. God, what is wrong with you? You are such a hater. Every single time I get any put anything out, you freaking have something to say. You are the biggest hater I've ever seen. I didn't even watch your Jody Sue live. I really didn't. What a freaking jealous freak she is. Is she okay? Okay, here we go. I, I honestly did not watch her live. <laughs> At all. I have no idea what Jody Sue said on her live. 
nor did anybody tell me. Somebody brought it up last night in my live saying, did you watch the TM and Jody Sue live? I even talked about it. I said, no, I didn't. I said, what happened? They were telling me I need to watch it. I haven't even watched it. That was my ticket out here that they'd have to release me. If I had somebody to push it from the outside. Wow, because of medical stuff. Well, because of the lawsuit. Wow. How long were you? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I maybe uh, I'm afraid I don't want them to drop us on our our visit. <laughs> you know, I want you to I want to hear what you ha what happened, but I'm afraid. I mean, they're not going to drop us over the top about that. Okay, all right. Because, uh, see the phone things I was talking about putting the money on. Yeah. They take pictures every like so many minutes. That's to keep the pay the inmates safe. See, he's talking. I'm I'm right now. I'm talking to him like, hey. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want this call to be dropped. Uh, he is a hundred percent aware of what he uh, that he's on a recorded line. And also when I brought up the selling to, I said, who did you, I said, who did you supposedly sell to? Or who did you allegedly sell to? Or who are they saying you sold to that you allegedly sold to? Uh, my email address is YouTube Ziggy at Outlook.com. Yeah, I don't watch Jody Sue. She has zero information. I don't know why Tiffany thinks that Jody Sue's a well of knowledge. She's not. Tiffany knows that. God, she you guys have have you guys noticed every single time I have something come out, she does, she throws a fit. Every time. The bones, the bones thing. When I go down to Tennessee, this situation, she always freaking has to go against everything to make a big deal of it. When she sees something is getting numbers, she's right in the middle of it. I've seen her do it to Justin. I've seen her do it to several people. What was said in her live that she's fucking talking about? Now I'm curious. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, their lawsuits are crazy on them right now over people getting killed and stuff. Yeah, you know what? I said, I said, you guys, if something happens to Fred in, in jail, uh, I've, I've said it to everybody. If something happens to Fred in jail, I'm going to be very, very, very suspicious because, yeah. because everybody is like passing away or getting arrested um, that are even somewhat tied to the Summerwell's case. Um, Freaking, see, huh? But what? Well, see, I choked out, but the CO is the one that broke the pins loose and my wrist is and broke my other arm back loose. Oh my god! Wow. But, uh, Do you have a lawyer? I got the medical, but now they'll try to play it like they tie down something else to myself or something. Right. Trying to get a lawsuit. Do you have a lawyer yet? Do you have a lawyer that's came and talked to you? No, I don't. No. No, I'm going to have to get one, probably. Yeah, you, dang. And you can't ask for one until you get to court, huh? If for a yeah. public defender, anyways. Yeah. Um, they just say, yeah, that's all they do. <laughs> how often can you get commissary? Uh, twice a week. Okay, well, I'm going to try to make sure that you have money to get what you need at least. And hopefully we can figure yeah. something out to, and we'll keep in contact and hopefully we can figure something out to help you. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll do what I can. Um, 
really, I, 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 I think you're a really good person, you know, and yeah. I don't think this makes you a bad person at all. Um, uh, hopefully, there's some of Will's case, maybe it may be some. Do you think that has anything to do with your arrest? I mean, I don't know. With what? Like, I don't think it does, does it? I mean, your arrest has nothing, got, nothing to do with Summer, does it? No, no, um, no, no. My case ain't got to do something. But it was just uh, weird timing, you know, because it was like. Well, we'll see they got to come up when they start investigation like that. In two years, they got to close it and reopen. And where they closed her case, they reopened it again, it opened my case. Oh, the Summer Wells case? It was closed and reopened, is that what you're saying? I didn't understand what he's talking about, and I still don't understand what he's talking about. <laughs> Suki and Freddie sit in a tree. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Like I about uh the case clo closing and then reopening. I don't know, maybe some of you guys do. I said we're they two years was up on summer. Uh -huh. They had to close it and reopen it. Oh, it's, uh, they start, it started back new again. Do they do that every two years or something? Well, where they dropped hers, and, and it made mine pop up. That's why they grabbed mine right off the ship real quick. That's why mine come in play. But it ain't got nothing to do with the summer whales. Right, right, I didn't think so. I, 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 no. I didn't. No, but. I don't think for a second that you're involved in summer whales case. I just, no. I think that Andy no. Bernard is, and I don't. Um, well, I don't, he's probably got something involved, but another person I believe was involved that we then discussed yesterday, I discussed it with some, with some of the bigger dudes, and yeah. they're supposed to be checking a certain area out. Fields Road, or? And, okay, uh, so this is where he, uh, he talks about yesterday, he, maybe I'll, try to fast forward like a minute. I mean, I, he doesn't mention any name, but I don't want to give a heads up. I even know the person's supposedly deceased though. Thank you, vet girl. I'm trying to do the right thing, guys. I mean, I really am. I'm, I'm not going to be perfect about it and I'm going to make mistakes and stuff like that, but you know, um, and the only reason why I'm fast forwarding, he hasn't mentioned a name. Um, I mean, we'll play it maybe in a couple weeks or something or a few weeks or some, you know, just a month or so, just some time after some time's passed. Because if this is new information or whatever, I just don't want I mean, nobody really, from what he told me, I can't think of any way that somebody could really change anything. If she's where they're, where he says they're looking, they're not, nobody's going to be able to really reach her. No, I didn't give it away at all. Exactly, Georgia. I, that's what I'm saying. If it was like one of you guys telling me, uh, you know, text me, hey, you probably should turn it off or whatever, I consider it. But when I see, you know, my biggest haters coming in and trying to act like they're Captain Save a freaking ho, Save a Fred, Save a whatever, <laughs> come in, like acting like they're trying to do something speak up and do something righteous it's like dude you're not fooling me at least i know it fools others but i know you're coming in here just because you don't like me i i think that uh i think that his hair is still long in the back you know what do they say party in the back, business in the front. <laughs> I actually think here it's like party in the back, Amish 
in the front. <laughs> Looks like an Amish haircut. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, just move it a minute or two forward, and we'll listen to that this part like in some weeks. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted summer to be final, you know. Yeah. So, so they don't think you have anything to do with it, Dave. I'm one hundred percent clear. I mean, they, they right. can't press nothing towards me on that case. Right, no, I don't think so for a second. I no, don't. I'm, no, I'm just wondering I'm, if they're giving you a hard time or if they believe you. No, no, no. No, they're not. So they believe you? They're not at all. Okay. No, they know I ain't got nothing to do with it either. Right. I wish they would publicly yeah. announce that. Yeah, it's just the public that's just throwing me around like trash. I, w I wish they would publicly announce that they cleared you. Yeah. I was, as far as, as far as the case, I mean, I'm not. By the way, he's he he has he's really hard of hearing. Okay. I'm one hundred percent clear because I've not had nothing to do with it and ain't got nothing to do with it. Thank you, Fed girl. Oh, I know. I, I have no worry about being charged with nothing on their case. <laughs> I 100% believe you. I 100% back you, Fred. Oh, I know. You've been the only one that has. I mean, I 100%. You're Kathy. Kathy. Which one's Kathy? Or the one that was. Oh, yeah. Friend. Yeah. She's the one that was supposed to have dropped. Kathy um, is the one that was supposed to have came up and dropped money off yesterday. She, she dropped $20 off for you yesterday. Stop, dog. Sorry. Sorry. But how you been doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. Okay. I'll get it later. It's fine. I'm getting it now. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> there was a delivery. <laughs> You're and um, come here, Bandit. I want to show you this pup. He's so cute. <laughs> so, um, how could we get you in contact with? I get uh, Laura. Uh, are you, I don't know how she, she could get in contact with me. She could come to the jail as far as that goes and get oh, in contact with me. She's trying to, she was, she wanted well, me she to set get in contact with me so many ways where she's local that it's not even funny. She's not trying. She, she tried to, with me, she tried to set, I, she sent me her ID, but it's expired. She needs a new ID. I mean, she could come in jail and get a visitation in jail right here. She can have anybody, she can drive right here to the jail. Yeah, but uh, doesn't she have to have a valid ID? No. You don't have to have an ID when you come to the jail? We're not face to face, it's just through a window. Or uh, is it through a window or a video? Yes. Yeah, it's through a window. Oh. It's like this right here, like we're doing a video chat. Well, I know her ID, her ID is expired because she was trying to get me to um, sign a or set up a uh, in a video or a visit with you in person. She wanted to come yeah. see you. But she can have a visit every day, every day. Really? It says online. Yes. It says online you can only have one per week. What about this? It says that you can only have two video visits a week, like this. Is that true? Or can you have... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't... I always told you that one every day. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll, tr I'll, I'll try to, you know, we'll talk often and I'll try to figure out something yeah. with... She needs to get a new ID because I don't think they're going to let her visit without that... You might want to ask. You you might want to ask one of the guards there if somebody can well, visit. She can go get an ID for a little bit. Nothing. Yeah, that's true. She's got the money to do that. And she has. And she candle? and she has the. Uh, okay? Her money is okay. tomorrow herself. Sorry. Um. So does she have a way to drive there? Yeah, she's got vehicles. 
Okay. Hey, uh, what what was it that you're uh you can't come on camera, Kaylee? I know, but I need that little lighter thing right there. Um, what was it that your mom passed away from? Uh, this uh, COVID and uh, where her CO two was so high in her blood. There was a rumor going around that she had blunt force trauma. Blunt force trauma. Is that true? Uh, I don't know nothing about that. Like we're, okay, I was going to say, I did, somebody was trying to spread a rumor and they were trying to um, accuse Laura of something. Well, she was on beat. I mean, mom, they had a, beat, a camera set up and over top of mom for like six months. So it didn't show anybody or never think that was it. Yeah, they with. said... So the rumor is that the video was shut off for a few hours and turned back on. That's what the rumor is. Yeah. And Laura was there, and it's like, I don't know. That's what somebody Laura was never there. They thought I was there. Oh. Yeah. So COVID, and because she was only 68. Uh, that's just a rumor. <laughs> yeah. It's just a rumor. It's bullshit. Right. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, um, she, that just sounds like something she's tried to say this for an excuse to get out. No, it wasn't actually her. It said it was somebody trying to accuse her of doing something to your mom. A lot of my family ain't never liked Laura anyway, but yeah. it is uh, what it is. Well, yeah, that same person was saying that your mom gave her money to bail you out the last time, you know, like for the boots, and that she went and got drugs instead. No, she didn't. She okay. had the money. Mom just gave her like seventy some dollars, and it cost a hundred and fifty to get me. Out. Um, I was like, I never heard that before. Or I never. No, it sounds like something my sister would say. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like somebody, your sis, a friend of your sister's, I'm going to be honest. The person acted yeah. like they were friends with your sister. They're like, why don't you talk to his sisters? I said, I don't want to. Well, see, that's just like my mom's place at um, the holler where the camper is. Where yeah. the camper is up a holler. See, my sister is supposed to sign that over to me. My mom was uh, asking her in front of uh, all of us to go ahead and put that in my name before she ever even passed. Yeah. And I don't know. My sister just kind of screwed me out of everything. Yeah, and I think she's, I think Laura is afraid that she's going to get kicked out of there, too. She can't get kicked out from the camper. Why? Because isn't yes. it, isn't it? So, this, it's been her address for the past five or six years. they got to get court right. orders, everything. It will take at least uh, over a year to get her out. Right. The court orders. She said that there was a, that there's a blue pit bull that was dropped off down there by you guys. Do you know anything about that? That it's skin and bones. And so I said, uh, I had dog food sitting over there. Um, yeah. Cause she said she didn't have dog food or anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. She's, she's always wanted that pity. Bullshit. Does she have money to for food? Yeah, I mean, when they rescued me, I had like three hundred dollars in my wallet. And it, they gave it to her. That was at the house. Oh, okay. I mean, she had it in her possession. Okay. Well, I was really worried about her because I, I, I didn't know if she would be out. It sounds like she's a pity party. You'll probably you'll probably be out like <laughs> at the latest in end of August, don't you think? Don't you think they'll let you out or lower your bond? Well, I mean that what I was that's what I was trying to say. Well, I go instead of five thousand, they will let me out on twenty five hundred if I can come up with that and work with me on the rest, you know. Yeah, but let like still that's still it's still hard to come up with that. Yeah, and if I had it, you know, I don't have it right now, unfortunately. I'm, but uh, so, uh, 
Sorry, guys. I'm going to pause it because they skip this. Ugh. They're barking nonstop at everything. It's because that little pup is like every single little noise. It barks and then it gets Athena going. And it's already hard enough to hear. Um, Evil S has a video of their grandson in the hotel room. Don yelling nasty at him. Oh, really? Sounds like Lori's doing better than you. I think he's kind of irritated because he want he thinks that Laura should have been down there or figured something out. Yeah, the per uh, Kathy just sent me her receipt for adding money to to his uh, account. I don't understand. Member for one month. Thank you, Curse with Curiosity. See, it's not really. There's a few, a couple parts that it's not really anything that can get him in trouble. I mean, he talks about the charges for a second, and I was like, well, we probably shouldn't talk about it. Because I started realizing, oh, we're sitting here talking about it could be it could be used in court. To be like, see, he's talking about the times that he sold drugs. But thankfully, he 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 said on here several times that he didn't he he got, he couldn't remember exactly. He thought at first that he might know, but well, but. Lavishi Hatfield, according to him, I guess the person they're thinking of is passed away. Of course, it, it would be something like that, right? It would be our freaking luck that whoever is the main person involved in Summer Wells' case is passed away. I mean, I can see it's being very possible because uh, all the people that has pass passed away around this case. Yeah, Bob, we couldn't talk too much about summer on here. You know, you know, you have to keep in mind that, you know, there's somebody listening. They're going to, they're going to be listening. According to him, though, maybe not so much because they seem to think that they, he seems to think that, that he's cleared. I mean, he was, he said that they're nice to him, that uh, they, they don't believe he had anything to do with it or that they know he had nothing to do with it. He's confident. Um He's confident because he's telling the truth and he knows he didn't have anything to do with it. And he's been in contact with, and I don't think that puts him in danger with people knowing either that he's in, in um, communication with law enforcement, unless they're directly related with Summer's case. And this guy supposedly passed away, the one that they were talking about in particular, it was about one person mainly. And that person's no longer alive. And I don't know the name of the person either because I was like, oh, wait, I could tell that he was didn't want to say it. And I wasn't going to pressure him either.
Why would it be strange that he, that I'm contacting him? Um, no, not at all. What the hell? No. I talk to them all the time. When they can, you know, in the both him and his girlfriend. Why would it be strange? Laura was asking me to contact him. Because he didn't want to didn't want to tell too much. That's why he knows he's on a recorded line. Fred said the person's passed away. What do you mean, Justin? No, he's not talking about uh, the Crawfords or because I asked them specifically or Rick. No, he said not Rick, not. No, it's. Oh, shit. I think I might have I boxed somebody accidentally. Here, let me continue this. I was wondering that you don't really have that bad of a record, you know? So maybe, hopefully, they'll let you do, like, house arrest or something. Well, see, there's not no quarter of that here until August the 31st. I that's know. I know. That's here. And see, I can't get in front of a judge to me. That's crazy. So you haven't been in front of a judge at all? No. Not even once? I thought that you're supposed to see a judge to like within 24 hours. Well, no, I'm not. Evidently, they're saying August the 31st be my first court arraignment day. Wow. So you think that the people that set you up or whatever happened, you don't think they have anything to do with the summer wells? No, no, no. Okay. Nobody with the idea, no. No, nobody with my board. So it was no, probably a very small amount too, wasn't it? I, I'm not for sure if they never told me really how much it was. Exactly. I'm not even had no paperwork yet. They gave me wow. I haven't seen I haven't seen an article or anything. They didn't they didn't put anything in the news or anything. Well, see, they just come in and they don't like they had a rest work and stuff. Um maintained well and were narcotics so and then they arrested me and I'm not seeing no paperwork, no nothing or nothing saying that anything. Wow. Yeah, um well, the only information I was able to find was the dates of, you know, the two dates that it, the transaction happened on because because on on the court website, they put the two dates. And that's the only reason that I'm able to. Do you think that they and I noticed it, it looks like it went to grand jury or something because it was on June 1st that they. Uh, issued the warrant i think or filed something june 1st and that's yeah, when the grand yeah. jury yeah yeah that was the indictments that come out yeah the grand jury serves the indictments says who they they go arrest and stuff and that's what that was that's when it come out did anybody else get in trouble with you no like who because there was no. a couple others there was a couple others who were arrested for the same type thing on the same day as you. And yeah. I kind of wondered if they were uh, related to your, 
or if it was no, no. by the same people that if the same people got the same person got them that got you yeah probably um, so. i'm probably i'm trying to remember i think the last name was on one of them ah i don't know maybe hardesty ah i don't know i'll have to i'll have to uh, we'll have another chat uh, you'll yeah figure it out <laughs> yeah yeah anything that you need me to Anything that you need me to tell Laura or do or anything besides uh, try to get you some money and stuff? <laughs> Any... Well, her, her money hits tomorrow. It goes in the bank tomorrow. Her money does. Her social security check. Is there, but is there anything that you can think of that you, that I can do to help? I know he was set up because if you look up his charges, um, if you look up his charges, they were he they were from like when the incident happened it has two days november of 2021 and march of 2022 so they even this is something that's happened over a year ago these incidents where he supposedly sold something or sold drugs so um yeah if they just now got um a warrant for a a sale or two sales that happened over a year ago, then it was, it was a setup. Because if how, what else could it be? Don't you think they would have arrested him during the incident if, if it wasn't? Why wouldn't they have arrested him right then? He would have had to. It's selling. Like he sold to somebody. That's what it is. He sold to an informant. Happens all the time. Yeah, that's what I meant by a setup. That's what I meant. Just an informant. Oh, really? They only have them down for two uh, dates that the, that it happened. So I don't know if you look at his charges on Hawkins County, it, it, it shows when the incidents occurred. November 27th of 2021 and then March 3rd of 2022. And that was the first time he's heard it ever since I um, since I he didn't even get any paperwork or anything. It, it took him to. No. It doesn't get you arrested right then. So, I mean, not always. He doesn't know anything about he's he's already he's already talked as like he was just talking with him yesterday. He wants to just help. He just wants to help. I don't think it's anything about a deal. I mean, of course, if they give him a, I'm sure he, 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 he's already told him everything he knows. He's been, <laughs> he's already been in communication with him like several times. So it wasn't like he was withholding information. said Don. I don't think it was Don. I wondered that, but I don't think he would be stupid enough to, I don't know. He is, I mean, he's, from what I hear, Don tried to come down there and they told him to leave. And that was like the only interaction that there has been. Um, 
If, if Selena can hear this, will you email me? Please, if Selena is listening or if anybody sees her around, um, will you tell her to um, email me? So I can talk to her outside of here. Because I don't know how to contact her. Oh, yeah, but he said he, but he, no, he remembers, he remembers, stop. He remembers, oh my God. He remembers who introduced him to the person. So, yeah, you're probably right. It, pro it probably was like something like that. Well, he's not going to lie about not getting paperwork, guys. Why would he lie to me about not seeing his paperwork? It's not like he's it's not like he's lying. I mean, I can't think of any reason that would benefit him to lie. And maybe you guys can, but Or they arrested someone on those days for possession. They told them where they bought where they bought it. But how would they have proof? How could they prove that? Like anybody could say, oh, I bought it from this person. I bought it for that person. You know what I mean? I would think that they would have to have some kind of proof, but. I'm guessing if they got him twice. At least one of those are probably going to stick. The warrant had bail set. Yes, that's true. Um, that is true. That's I that his bond was already set. When the warrants were, um, when the warrants were, whatever, issued, <laughs> they issued a bond too. So that's why he hasn't seen a judge. Thank you for explaining that. I always thought that they had to see a judge also, um, but. Oh, yeah. My son got caught and he wore a wire. They use people all the time to get in trouble, put a wire on them and send them to buy drugs and they give them money to buy them. I mean, I'm sure they told him his charges. Wait, what? He just doesn't have any paperwork. Things happen. You guys in jail, it's, it's jail. They don't, I mean, yeah, there's policies and stuff they're supposed to do, but things, and sometimes jail is just, right, you just sleep, right, that dude? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Does anybody know what uh, Tiffany Marie, I, now I'm curious what she was talking about, about uh, what was said in her live that would, um, 
that would make, I don't understand. Everything is not a conspiracy theory. Like, it's so crazy how every, like, some people are just always conspiracy theory. I have a feeling they charge Fred with a botch case that will untimely get dismissed. Time served to get him out of the way for something. Well, thank you, Annie. Yeah, you just sleep a lot. I mean, he seems pretty much in, in um, he, in um, good state of mind. He doesn't seem to be acting. Yeah, that's what he told me that his thing was his thing was opiates, but like I well <laughs> he did say he uses he does use meth daily too. Yeah, he does. But his first uh, drug of choice is opiates, I guess. That's what he's actually addicted to because he just doesn't feel like he meth is not physically withdrawing. It you know, you don't have to have it to uh, to function like if you're addicted to it. Your mind might be telling you like cra might crave it, but it's not like opiates. from meth reapers or was he also taking benzos because a lot of times when people are on speed and in cocaine to come down they take benzos and if they have if they're addicted to benzos and taking them really often you get seizures off of um the withdrawal you can get seizures and die off withdrawals off benzos I don't think uh, withdrawal is psychosis. That's a that's a uh, the psychosis is a uh, is a consequence of no sleep. That's just my opinion, though, but I've never been, like, hooked on math, so. Oh, yeah, he said he was hooked on opiates. Yeah. It is true. There is chem chemicals in the meth that can um, can make you can, but it's really if look look it up though. I mean the chemicals they use in this stuff, yeah. But the main reason why people uh, have psychosis off of meth or cocaine is because you guys. I'm certified uh, pure. I saw somebody said, "Are you stupid?" I'm a certified pure recovery coach. I'm, I'm certified a community health worker. I've, uh, I've been clean off of drugs for over, um, for going on 10, like 10 years. I've taken classes. I, I know I've experienced, like, I have life experience. I know this stuff. I'm not, I'm not stupid when it comes to this, to what I'm talking about. I mean, think about it. 
Doesn't it make sense? What happens when people go without sleep? It makes them go, it makes them go crazy. Well, that's the same if you're if you're taking meth or or cocaine to stay awake mixed with the drug and the no sleep is the, mainly the no sleep that really sets off the psychosis. All right. You, I don't know. Besides money. Because <laughs> well, I'll try to keep money. The way to, the people in here that what they're telling me, if somebody from outside can preach this or they broke my wrist and arm and stuff for trying to work with me, that they would have to release me over that if I had somebody outside to push that. So how did they break your arm and wrist? Well, they put where they was working on me. They kind of bring me back. Damn. How long were you gone for? I'm not too sure. That's crazy. How many people attacked you? It just one. And it was just like an argument? No, I was asleep. What the hell? Yeah. You were yeah, anybody see the hours out in this jail, the heat and air, air conditioners out in the jail right now. Yeah. And it's hot as hell in here. Yeah. And we've been putting this sheet around our neck, waiting to put it around our neck to stay cool and stuff. Yeah. But I was laying on the bottom bunk and he, he took it. He used it for his advantage. Dang. Were you guys arguing and and before? No. No, we hadn't been arguing or nothing. He was just crazy or something? Uh, he had just come in from the street, so I don't know. Oh, you didn't know him? No, he just he had just come in and I was just laying there on the bottom bunk. <laughs> wow, so you didn't even know he was in there? No. Well, I didn't know he was going to do it at all. Wow, okay. That's crazy. Wow. Um, I'm worried. I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope something doesn't happen to Fred in there. Because I know some, you know, because I know some people think that you have, you know, want to bring, because because Don brought your name up in the, you know, case with Summer. So it, it you know, I, some people think, I don't know why some people are so scared of you. I find it funny. <laughs> Because you're not scary at all. <laughs> no, I take a lot of shit serious, so. <laughs> well, but, but like, they think I that. Mean, that's what they're getting at. They, I take a lot of stuff serious, like getting snitched out. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, diff that's, that's different. That's like, that's messing with somebody's life, you know. Um, that's, yeah. It's different if I do it. I do my time for my crime. I do. Yeah. If I get caught with for my own, but right. if somebody else wants to take and say grace and sneak me out for what they've done, it's a different story. Yeah, when they were probably begging you or something to even help them out. Not yet. <laughs> no, I mean maybe they were. Pro I mean that during the incident when you got when they were you know wearing the wire or whatever. They probably, um, they probably, um, I, I don't know. I, don't, I told them what would happen. Yeah. We just have to be, actually, we should be probably careful about what we say on here because they record things. Yeah. Because I don't want, I don't want to get you in any trouble, like incriminate you or something. Oh, I know. I know. So, I know. so, I mean, and you don't even, you can't even remember when, it, if, when it was or, so, um, yeah, I don't want you to admit to I it. I mean, it's hard. It's really hard to really figure it out exactly who got you anyway, but 
Yeah. You can have an idea, but as far as knowing 100%, it's hard to know. Right. Well, um, I, let's see how long we've been on here. Um, wow, we've been 36. on here. Okay. Um, when do you, when do you want me to, let's see, what's today's date? Uh, or t it's Thursday. Um, do you want me to reschedule, like, I don't know, Saturday or something? Yeah, that'd be fine. So watch the screen. I don't know what, what time's best. Does I mean, it... I, can check, I can check it every day at least. Okay. Okay. I mean, but like I was talking about, like the phone, the, phone, the phone thing through the church here. Yeah. I can text you every day. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that. Yeah, That's, I mean, I can, it's just like a regular cell phone, kind of. Huh. But you may just have to contact the jail and ask, it's through the church. Okay. Is it, and I just ask him about the tablet thing, or what is it? Is yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like $15 or something. Other. Like what, a month or something, or what? Well, to be able to text out and all that. I mean, you change pictures and stuff, and video, or, uh, right. change messages and Right, have your own device. Stuff like that. Where you can have your own device. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right, well, I'll look into that for you, because, and, and, and also, yeah, I had, I, I'm also, I'm the, not gonna, huh? I've not got one in my hand or I'll show you what I was talking about. Right. No, I heard, I've heard about them, um, and I was told about them by Kathy, too. She said that you can get one of those. Um, so, but I'm going to also, I need to call them and ask them what happened to my money anyway. So I put it on there, and also, yeah, cause it didn't show up. Kathy, was it put on? Um, yesterday, I put on 20 yesterday, and so did Kathy. We both put yeah, 20 I on. Yeah, and asked them if it went for what it went for, at least. Because it just showed 20 come up. Hmm. Okay, I'll check on it. So, I mean, I don't know if I owed a medical bill or what for what happened. Yeah. Or whatnot. It does. Could have took it for medical right off the top. If it was the case, I don't know. Yeah. But I know I don't owe nothing for medical no longer now. It's not showing that, um, that I owe anything, but I don't know if I did owe anything. Right. You know. Right. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, because I did see a message when I was adding money that it could it could um, be used to pay for things on your, you know, like if you have anything to pay for, it can be used for that. I saw a message like that. So. All right. Well, hey, watch. I do, I do know that, mm -hmm. like, if you use a car, that. The most that can be put in on like commissary or whatever is three hundred, but if somebody brings cash, they yeah, can bring up the thousand to put on whatever. But yeah, you know, I just let you know. Yeah, well, I have to. I guess what happened, but. <laughs> well, I have to do it online, obviously, because yeah. um, I'm yeah. far. I'm in Indiana, but you know there are some locals that were, you know, like Kathy went down there and. Yeah. Dropped off cash, which should have should have showed up immediately. But yeah. anyways, yeah. well, I guess I'll let you go, and then so I can save some minutes, so we have some for our Saturday. Yeah. Because you have to pay for per minute or something. I'll keep an eye out, see what's going on. Awesome. I'll to back and, forth. And, I'll, and I'll try to get Laura, hopefully, you know, on the phone at the same time or something. It'll be what it'd be with her, I guess. I'm a little sweaty. Well, she's been, seems to be really upset, you know. And well, I feel like for a long time that she's been trying to pull away. So, this be her opportunity, I guess. Yeah. Because she, she probably, she really wants to get out of the hall, or doesn't she? Yeah, pretty much, I believe. I believe she wants to go back home. And you can't go back? Or you don't want to? Uh, it'd be what it'd be. You don't, do you want to go back? Uh, I feel like that. I feel like she does. No, do you want to go back to Virginia?
Do you want to? Regina, no. No, to, no, Virginia, Virginia. Oh, do I? Yeah. No, I don't want to go back to Virginia. Oh. You know, when I went there before, I never even left the property in, for six months. Never left my property at all. I still went to jail for three and a half. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I'm going to let you go, okay? And I'll talk to you Saturday. All right. I'm glad I got finally got to talk to you, though. Okay. Take well, care, you uh, you too. All right. Well, you take care. All right. You're like a brother I now. <laughs> I will. Sure. All right. Let's. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> See how he is. I love you. Oh, oh, <laughs> which it made me a little bit like I don't know. I know that's how they talk down the it, house. You know, they talk down there and stuff. He says sis, and you know, he calls me sis or whatever. But it, it's weird to me because I don't just throw around the love word. You know what I mean? So, um, see, there was not, too, I don't think there was anything in there that's going to cause any, any problems. Um, but I thought it'd be good for people to see and because kind of you can because you can get a good idea of his personality you can see him better you can hear him a little bit better than you could in my recordings and conversations with him so i thought that's why i wanted to show this it's just so you guys could see get a better idea of the type of person he is now i know he's so he's you know off drugs here and when he's out out on uh, out he is usually using but he looks a lot better he looks a lot better but he was the same person that i've seen a few times before but i could tell by looking at him that he looked like like his skin looked clear and um but he is always wearing a hat and stuff and he might they might do that that dude because he might get that opportunity because he doesn't have drug charges. He's he's never been in trouble for drug charges before. Contrary to, I, I I don't believe he has. I don't think the Virginia charge had anything to do with drugs. If I, I, I don't quote me on it, but I don't believe he has any uh, a drug record really. He has not. He's had one like serious charge or serious arrest. And that was in Virginia about uh, when he was like 35 or something. Well, maybe, maybe it would be good for him and, and Laura to separate and maybe he will get into a program and maybe Laura will like go back to Virginia and because if they're going to be together, um, you know, and if one's using and one's not, that's just not going to work. They're going to end up using together, you know, just like the Don and Candace situation, you know. Don had the perfect opportunity to continue to be clean and Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me um, 
check here, see if I can I go through the blocked list again and fix something here. I already went through once, but I didn't see it the first time. But I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard also from uh I don't know where Laura is. Maybe maybe um maybe Fred is right. Maybe Laura did go back to Virginia. I wish there was a way, an easier way to go through your block list, you know, for you. Um, there it is. There she is. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. If you ever get yourself into shit. No, I didn't talk to, I tried to get a hold of her yesterday. Let me check and see when the last time I talked to her was. Last time I heard from her was Wednesday at 1 a.m. So it had just turned Wednesday. And, and she said she's going to try to call me tomorrow. And she said she was going to try to call me in the morning on, um, call me in the morning, like Wednesday morning. And I never heard from her. So basically, it was like Tuesday late night. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thanks, Patricia. I'm not trying to support bad behavior um, at all, but... You know, we are supposed to take care or help people who are in um, need. But I understand, like, he did something he shouldn't have done because drugs kill, especially meth, and it's a serious drug. But Sometimes people just need, you know, just that one person to have hope that they can, that they're, or have one person believe in them to, you know, so that they'll change their life around. It would be really hard for him to do that where he's staying, but. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here for now. Um, I need I need to take a break. I'm a little stressed because I'm fine now, but I just, some people irritate me trying to exaggerate things and make things worse than they are. And it's, <sighs> thank you, Justice. Hey, Mama T. 
Yeah, Fred was questioning about summer. They How do you put money on uh, Fred's book? Um, well, hold on. Oh, thank you for the cash app. Hold on. So I was told that to add money online, you go to because I did it at tbejail.com, but he claims he hasn't received it. But somebody who used to work at the jail told me, this is, hold on, let me send the link. Bendengine.com. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, actually type it out so you guys can just click it. There. Let me see if that worked. Uh... Oops, I spelled something wrong. Shit. Reddit link didn't work. Let's try that one. What the hell? Why isn't it working? Hold on. Actually, there, use that one. Because if you if you type in vendengine.com, it redirects to that link I just I just uh, pinned right now, um, but I don't. I am not. I am not encouraging anybody to try to collect for his bond or anything like that. I think. I think it'd be good for him to sit there until he'll probably get out in August. It will be a nice little vacation for him. Yeah, they say meth is like one of the uh, hardest drugs to get off of. Oh, yeah, I don't want people threatening him for, I I don't know. He's in a, um, a better pod, he said, so hopefully he won't have that incident again. I don't exactly understand what happened. It doesn't sound like to me that what the correctional officers did to him, it, I don't think that they meant to do it to him. It sounded like they were in the process of trying to revive him. And in that process, his arm got messed up. And so I don't see how that, how that's, but he, I don't know. Yeah, if somebody can go get that dog, I would. Thank you, Michelle Reed. I would go check. I would. I, I mean, that blue one, definitely. And if somebody can, 
And if they go out there, like if you pull into the, if you go to the bottom of the driveway and the dogs are out there and start barking and you just, she'll probably come outside just and just be like Ziggy um, sent me. If anybody wants to go out there and try to get one of those dogs, especially that blue one, I know she wants a home for that for sure. That's true. Give him time to get clean off drugs too. He'll be fine in there for, and he'll be fine for two months. After he's there for a little bit more time, it will seem like a vacation. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk soon. Have a good rest of your day.